Okay, this is Beale's quick review of the hand. This is a right hand. Let's look at the carpal or wrist bones. The first bone you need to be able to identify is the scaphoid. It's the most commonly fractured bone in the wrist. It's kind of long and slender and indented in the middle. It is in the proximal row. So right here, this is the scaphoid. Moving lateral to medial, the proximal row is scaphoid. This one here is lunate. Over here is triangular or triquetral. And sitting on top of that is pisiform. The pisiform points towards the palm of the hand. Going back to the lateral or thumb side for the distal row, uh, the first bone here that articulates with the thumb is the trapezium, articulating with the pointer finger, trapezoid. The capitate is very large, it's right in the middle. It articulates with the middle finger, that's capitate. And then hamate has a very prominent hook on it, the hook of the hamate right there. So it's easier to identify that one. Hamate articulates with the ring finger and the pinky. If I flip this over, let's just go through it. On the um, posterior side, you can again clearly identify the scaphoid right here, first bone of the proximal row. And it's got that, end, it looks like a little peanut to me. It's still in its shell. So scaphoid here, moving towards the pinky, lunate triangular or triquetral, and on the, again, the anterior or palm side, if I flip this, the pisiform articulates with the triquetral or triangular right there. Going back to the thumb again, articulating with the first metacarpal here is trapezium. Next one is trapezoid, articulates with um, metacarpal two or the pointer finger. Here's your capitate articulating with the middle finger or metacarpal three. And then the hamate, again, the last one in the distal row, articulates with metacarpal four and five. You can flip him over again and you can say, oh my gosh, which one is this? There's the hook. I know that's the hook of the hamate. When you're looking at the palmar bones, there are five of these and the thumb is metacarpal one. So you're gonna have to put the number for each of the metacarpals. Metacarpal one, metacarpal two, three, four, the pinky on the pinky end is metacarpal number five. That is these, this portion of your hand. It's the palmar portion. Looking at the digits, the digital bones are phalanges. You can call each one of these a phalange or a phalanx. The thumb only has two phalanges. It has a proximal phalange or proximal phalanx and a distal phalange or distal phalanx. Don't get confused with this. This is the first metacarpal, proximal phalanx, distal phalanx. All of the other fingers have three phalanges. So if I look at the pointer finger, this is the proximal phalanx, middle phalanx, distal phalanx. I look at the middle finger again, you can say proximal phalange, middle phalange, distal phalange, right? You don't have to give the digit number with the phalanges, but you do have to give the number when you're um, describing the metacarpals here in the palm. That was the quick tour of the hand.